Ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to another exciting episode of Off the Top with Rikishi Fantu. Yay, yay. I am your co host, TMD. Oh, yeah. And of course, we were just talking about a really good drink right now that uh, myself, TMD, and of course, my brother from another mother, uh, Swayze. Yeah. We introduced Big Shout Kish out. to the old fashioned. Which yeah. is a uh, bourbon? Uh, uh, what, what was the uh, what the bourbon? I don't know. It's your drink. Is bourbon and orange? Yes, but, but we just said it a few seconds ago. It was wood something. Old right? fashioned. Yeah, the old fashioned. It's but the, called the old fashioned. Yes, and, it, and the name the the liquor is called Woodford. That's what it is. Coming out of Kentucky. Ooh. Yeah. So anyhow, I, so we had we, we were <laughs> yeah. tossing them back uh, the last time I saw you, and I yeah. think we we was feeling good that night. Man, it was a good vibe. I've never been to Foreman. Mm. You know, right there in Burbank, man, mm. and uh, came through, man. It was a nice vibe there. And yeah. then we got that, uh, you know, that old-fashioned. I had no f***ing idea what the hell is an old-fashioned. <laughs> it, look, it looked to me like some Jack Daniels, and uh, all I'm thinking, damn, do I got to gargle this thing going uh, back? Uh, but, it, you know, it was a different taste, man. It was smooth. I think, uh, you know, I had like four of them that night. Yep. Or five. You know, mm. all I know is by the time we left... We closed down the bar, yes, Foreman's. Sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Foreman's, for letting us stay a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. And then I know we were outside waiting for the Uber, uh -huh. and I was dancing in front of you with my leg bow-legged. <laughs> and you laughed your ass off, <laughs> and I kind of knew that I was ripped up, you know. And so so what happened when you guys left, right? Uh -huh. So we, we all Ubered. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. You two left an Uber. Responsible. Now mm -hmm. I'm, I'm waiting for my Uber. Mm -hmm. So the Uber comes up, and I'm looking at it. It's a little compact car, uh -huh. right? It's not what I ordered. Mm -hmm. And so <laughs> I'm looking at it. Now I'm toasted. Yeah, I'm, I'm you know, I'm toasted. I go to open the door. Uh-huh. And man, this bro was in the car, big dude. Uh huh. He's what the f you doing? <laughs> I said Uber. He said this ain't no damn Uber. I'm waiting for somebody. In. So I closed the oh. door and I got hot because he cussed me out, right? And I was <laughs> like, Well, do I get back in there and open the door and tell him shut the f up on? <laughs> but no, it was my fault. In the meantime, I beep was in front with his uh, blinkers on, uh, and he backed up the, you know, the SUV. Uh -huh. And I opened up the car, and he says to me, Junior? <laughs> I said, Abib? <laughs> yes, it's me. I said, man, where was you at, old friend? <laughs> where was you at, Abib? Oh, yeah, I was here, you know, in front of anyhow. You know, Can big, you imagine, because that was about good uh, midnight. Can you imagine um, Burbank midnight opening your door, and, and then there's big case, WB Hall of Famer, just stepping into your, your, your man, little Uber, hey. man. Yeah, that was. Well, thank you, old fashioned. Ooh, you know? Speaking That's of drinks, man. Okay. Look who's here, the drink master. The drink master. What we got here, man? Go. This master. one, I am not going to change the name because it's a traditional drink. Okay. It's a great drink. But this one is called a tequila sunrise. Ooh, Ooh. tequila sunrise. You know what that is. All right, well, let's, uh, let's test it out here. Big shout out to drink masters. Manuia. 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 Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh yeah, give me a yeet. That is Oh yeah, that's very nice. Very just, nice. Mm, very just it's delicious. I noticed this uh tequila over here, pantalones. Mm-hmm. I mean his Spanish pants off, right? Uh, yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah, I think it's so good yeah. it makes you want to take your pants yeah. off after a few okay. of them. Big shout out to uh uh, Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, Matthew McConaughey. That's his. That's his bottle right there. Wow. Uh, we got it from you know, uh, Sister Debbie Cortez brought it out for us. So it was D D D delicious. Thank you, Debbie. You you're talking about the actor? Yeah, that's Matthew McConaughey. That's, uh, that's oh, what it yeah, says yeah, on the bottle. He's always naked, so yeah, I can yeah. see why he would name his drink <laughs> Pantalones. He's playing a drum naked all the time. Oh, all right, so right. I, I've read, I, I read his book, Chasing Green Lights. Oh, okay, well, really good book. He likes to be naked. I mean, so he Is says in his book. I mean, you know. Oh, would, would, would you been at the party with Diddy? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no not, definitely. He, maybe him. Maybe I'm, so. I, no, I don't know. I'm just. Uh, but I tell you what. Uh, yeah. People out there, if you want to get your drink sponsored here yeah. on the show, all you got to do is send in your information. We will make that happen. Captain, do you need any kind of plug? Just uh, hit yes, us up. Uh, I'll uh, yes, Rikishi, uh, uh, That's it. 
Absolutely. So, so tequila pantalones. Yes. Matthew Mucho McConaughey uh, drink right here. Um, very Damn. good, very good. And and look, look what we have behind this drink oh, hiding over here. Now. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. In hand, we have got the Rikishi Fought to Funko Pop. Check that out. Cheers to that. Wow. Mm. Look at the, I have I have yet to see one of these in person. Today's wow. And listen here, it's exclusive. Immaculate. Uh, it actually dropped. April 4th. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And this sucker here what, uh, that drops April 4th, exclusive, exclusive at Target's, right? Mm. So you can go there, any Target, um, April 4th, you know, if you haven't already got it yet, go check it out and get it. Didn't you just Stop film by. a commercial for it, too? Did a commercial for uh, Funko Pop. Big shout-out to Funko Pop. Big shout-out to all the fans. They told me that the pre-sales have sold out. Like, you couldn't get it no more until you had to wait until it drops, you know, which was uh, April 4th. So so speak, speaking of WrestleMania weekend, April, April 4th, um, yeah. Big Heesh, what are your plans? What do you got going on? Are you going to attend? Well, I'm going to be busy. Uh, you know, uh, number one, my obligation is to be out there to support the boys, you know, to be able to see, you know, this dream match. Um, it's a busy weekend for me being at WrestleCon. Uh, starting Friday into Sunday. So my scheduling is going to be very, very tough to be able to bounce from WrestleCon, shoot over to WrestleMania, you know, do my, you know, uh, do what I'm supposed to do, turn around and uh, try to get back to in time for, you know, my other obligations, you know. So, you know, I'm looking forward, uh, you know, to be able to be at, uh, you know, the Hall of Fame. Uh, my good friend, the wise man, Paul Heyman. Uh, it'll be interesting to uh, to hear his speech. I'm looking forward to that as well. And they also just mentioned that uh, Roman Reigns will be the one that's going to induct him. Yeah, I just wow. heard about that last night, okay. I believe, on... Uh, how do you not know this? Well, you usually bring up all the news to me. Well, I was going to say that what I read that... Uh, Paul Heyman might have uh, in, been introducing himself. I mean, he, he's like one of the only people probably yeah. more, you know, qualified. No, yeah, they they uh, they they announced that on uh, Monday Night Raw, right, and uh, that he was going to be the one to induct him. So wow, yeah, it was crazy, man. I I you know, and I only found out a lot of people keep tagging me, mm -hmm. you know, on on my social media, and, and that's how I was able to kind of just flip through it. And so, you know, it's going to be very, very interesting. So, to answer your question, my weekend in WrestleMania, yes, I will be in Philly. Wow. And that's all I can tell you. <laughs> that is all I can say. Ladies and gentlemen, he is going to be there in, in the, the, cir the circumference of, oh, wow. Close Holy by. moly. I tell you what, you know, Big Geese, you never know. I might just show up, too. I might I, just be there. Means. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, might, I might just have to uh, see what's going on myself because this is going to be such a big weekend. There's so much going on here. Yeah. Um, and, and not only that, you just debuted a banger of a song. Yeah. Wow. Can we get can we get some yeah, yeah, some clapping, oh. some yeah, trapping, yeah, yeah. something, some, some yeah, 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 some, yeah. Your single uh, was a banger. It is titled Dynasty Forever. Yep. Um, wow. First of all, how did that track come about? Um, you got a Wu-Tang beat in, in, in yeah. the background. Mm -hmm. Please walk us through how this uh, whole process well, happened. I'm, I'm a big fan of hip-hop mm -hmm. in general. Um, mm -hmm. Wu-Tang was one of my favorite, favorite uh, hip-hop group. As, you, as I posted it up on my Instagram, I kind of, you know, wrote a long post on there, and people can go on there and pretty much, you know, understand what I'm talking about. You know, a lot of times... You know, their music had, you know, referred to me in, in a way to where my family is. You know, I'm a big group of family and blah, blah, blah. So, but yeah, it, and that beat, you know, that triumph beat, I, I was actually nervous because that that beat and that Wu-Tang, boy, it's just, you can't mess with that if it ain't done right. But it was my way of, of showing homage, you know, to, for me, one of the greatest hip-hop groups in the world, and in, 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 I mean, iconic legends, and I wanted to, you know, to to vibe to 
to that. So, you know, uh, got with my group here, you know, uh, uh, my team, uh, but I was, uh, you know, Frank Ward, you know, with, uh, what is it, Hide the Meat? Uh, higher Anarchy. Higher Anarchy. Okay? So I posted it up on there. But anyways, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, you know, I used, I just play around rapping, right? Mm -hmm. And I never had the confidence to where, you know, and here's a guy that always had that confidence, right? But for music, I never had that, you know, confidence like I can, you know, possibly do it. And so, you know, this was one of my goals for 2024 was I just wanted to drop something, you know, because for years I felt like the dynasty, we never really got our flowers. Mm -hmm. And if nobody was going to talk about our flowers the way that should be, you know, put some respect on the name, well, hell, I'm just going to go ahead and do it for them. Right. Right, do it for us and so forth. So, But I want to thank all the fans. When I say all the fans worldwide, on that feed, man, I've never seen so much fire, you know, uh, uh, replies and so forth. And, and, you know, and then I had what really made my night it was when I came back and uh, the Oos uh, Method Man texted me. I saw that. Yeah. So he texted me, and, dude, I, I was like a, you know, I was like a, a damn a little kid in the candy store. Like, oh, I can't, <laughs> you know, this is where I'm a fan on the opposite side. Right. And, dude, he, he just gave me he just gave me so much love on that, you know. Appreciate what I did, you know, in, 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 in the wrestling business. You know, and continue on to the, you know, to my boys and the family, and so forth. And you know, he said that his family was a big fan of, you know, myself. So you know, I'm I'm big shout out to Method Man for, for taking the time because I just wanted to hear his feedback or any member of the Wu Tang wow. Clan. So, so I'm all fired up now. You know, we, we got what well, we got, uh, Frank. How many in, in a? Well, we got about four already. You you heard most yes, of them. Yes, sir. And, and, you know, this is awesome because I was talking to you about, um, you know, you, you're going to make an album, right? Yeah. Um, so I, w I was saying, man, you're going to have some features on there because you and Method Man, you guys got to collab, which is obvious. But then you had said that you don't want any features on your first album because you want to do all these songs by yourself. You want to kind of show what you can do. And I think that is badass, like that you wouldn't even re uh, want to rely on any features. Um, yeah, well, again, it's kind of like my work ethic. Mm -hmm. um, you know, not not to knock or say anything to discredit any of the great hip hop artists. Uh, some of them that you know sampling some of their beats, you know. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, again, I just want to, you know, at this time and age of myself, it's always been a to do list for me, and I just want to see if I can do it by myself. You know, as we go. And then, you know, maybe the second album I'll probably, you know, open up now because I, then I, I kind of feel like I've earned that respect to be able or that, you know, that door to be able to walk in with some of the greats because I'm walking into a whole new different industry. You know, all I know is I love music. I love hip hop. I love island reggae. I love R&B reggae, soul reggae. And I just want to venture in to the world of music. So... You know, again, this is nothing. It's it's a personal ride for Rikishi, and I think all the fans are ready to join that ride with you. And uh, fans, man, send in your feedback if you haven't listened to the song. It's all over his social medias. Go on there, and it's Dynasty Forever, um, and it it is a banger. And you know what? Not even not even blowing smoke up your ass, Big Keish. It it, it is a good song, and we've already talked about this. Your yeah. delivery is dope. And I, and, and I can't wait to see what you do with the song. Um, uh, I, I heard there might be a music video in the works, which I think is going to be great. Yeah. So there, there's so much more to talk about. We're going to go a really quick commercial. We'll be right back with more Off the Top with Rikishi Fought 2. Yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. Rikishi Fought 2, Off the Top. We're coming right back.
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're not listening. Yes, I got him. No, I got him. Trust me. So I got you. I got you. I got you. Tell Rita, shut the fuck up. You know, Rita, hey, it's no wonder I'm looking at the bottle missing over there. Let's go. All right, ladies All right. and gentlemen, we are back with more Off the Top with Rikishi Fatu. And, you know, you can feel it in the air. It is yeah. WrestleMania week, baby cakes. Hot doggy. The biggest showcase of the immortals. Damn it, it is going down. Did you see what The Rock and Roman Reigns did to Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes last night? Well, it looks like they done took him to school. With, right? They took him to school, and, and, and they, they, all they did was just put more asses in seats like what the dynasty can do. You know, I've been saying this for years and years and years. Nobody has really came to give the flowers to the dynasty, past, present, or future. Now, here it is. How long has Rock been gone from the business? 20 10, 12, years, 15 years. However long, right? And he comes right back in. Boom, hottest thing. Hottest thing. And you know what? The angles, how they're, you know, shooting all this... You know, leading up to WrestleMania, uh, man, all the way from getting whooped with Cody's belt. Mm. You know, we haven't seen Juice out there for a while, but seen it in Chicago. And then moving into what they were at the Barclays Center uh, last night in New York City. Right? Wow. And that, that's just like performing there is just like kind of performing in Madison Square Garden. And you can see on Monday Night Raw, those people were so hot. It's that type of heat when you see the dynasty out there. It is that type of heat that you love to hate them, but you have to respect them. You understand? Yes, sir. And so these are my words is what I see out there. WrestleMania, once again, they need to change WrestleMania to number one, Uso Mania and Dynasty Mania. And that's what I'm talking about. Man. You know, give me a yeet. It is. And you know what? These last two weeks of uh, television yeah. has really felt like the Attitude Era, or or at least a new era. Ain't it? Because you know what? Now, The Who's Rock, is he's dropping F-bombs, f*** this and f*** that. Yeah. And, and, and you know what? They, they also said, Monday Night Raw, the promos will not be censored once they go to Netflix. Well, there it is. So so it's going to be, it, it really does feel like a whole new era. The, the PG era is gone, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. We are now entering in a whole new era, and The Rock is leading the way. Who better to lead the way? But, uh, Wait, yes, we, sir. I mean, we, it, it is the Oos era. Yeah, you Come on, it is yeah. the Oos yeah. era. The Oos era. I mean, and it's the final boss leading the way into the greatest show in history, WrestleMania 40. Yeah, it's going to be good, man. You know, really, uh, I'm very excited to be able to, Ooh, you know, witness and uh, to see what the boys are going to unleash out there during WrestleMania. I mean, this is a dream match of my sons. For me, they've always been, you know, like any brothers, play around in the living room, mm -hmm. jumping off the beds, breaking furniture. But now the only difference is this. They've came from, what, from the ports to the pay-per-views. Now they're able to get out there in front of millions of millions of fans and to be able to showcase their love for one another. If that makes any sense to you. Yes, sir. It makes a lot of sense to me. Yes. For them to get out there, who better to dance with, Joey, mm -hmm. than to dance with your own blood out there? Because you know nobody on either end is going to shortcut they're going to come out there, they're going to throw it on the line, put it all on the line to be able to do one thing, and that's steal the show. Win or lose, yeet or no yeet, I say the Fatu Anuai brand wins. Yes, sir, and that's what you've been saying. <clears throat> so, uh, since the last few weeks, you've been saying that. And, uh, and so pretty much when it comes down to it, yeet or no yeet, it's pretty much everyone eats, no matter how you, you slice yeah. it or dice it. Because this is, without a shadow of a doubt, like I've said, this is the biggest weekend in your family's history, and it is a huge history. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm super excited to, to see what's going to go down. Um, yeah, I do, I do want to say this, you know. Yes, sir. Another person that I'm excited about, uh -huh. uh, you know, is uh, a Rio Ripley. Yes, yes. So... I got more texts uh -huh. 
videos sent to me, Instagram, TikTok, mm -hmm. you know, on, on the Twitter, X, whatever. And I was wondering why the hell everybody's, you know, tagging me on this. So I popped it open, man, and there was Rhea Ripley. Rhea was backing it up, boy. Mm -hmm. She lift that damn, you know, them tights up. Yep. You know, them, you know, them uh, wasabis. Yeah, yeah. Those, yep. those what? I, wasabi. <laughs> 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 the wasabi kind of just, you could, you know, it was kind of like wanting to do its own thing. It was, you know, <laughs> it was, you know. You're jingling, baby. Wasabi. That's what you put so on. You're jingling, that's what's baby. The, the, the green hot sauce, right? Yeah, well, when you go just, to eat Japanese. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's just it wasabi. It's hot like wasabi. It's I get it. Hot I, like yeah. wasabi, right? Yeah. And so I was like, she is a damn. saucy Aussie, no doubt about yeah, it. Hey, man, she's doing her thing, man. You know, and a big shout out to Rhea. You know, and again, you know, uh, it's it's funny to me what to be able to see the new generation out there backing, backing it, up, it up, and you know, just keeping that, you know. Keeping it going, man. Well, you know, you know what's awesome about Rhea uh, Ripley was yeah. our, a con our conversation yeah. from the last show when you said Rhea Ripley was missing something. Yeah, and then you had mentioned uh, the Judgment Day should have the Vampire Warrior Gangrel. One hundred percent. Sportskeeda.com. Big shout out to Sportskeeda.com for picking up that conversation and putting a story out there. Yeah. Basically, uh, say uh, they they put in print what you said. Right. And you know what? I just got to touch on that a little bit, Big Keish. That would be dope. That'd be awesome. And if anybody deserves any kind of flowers, is is uh, Gangrel David Heath? Be uh, oh my God! Everyone knows and loves this guy. And you know what? Uh, hopefully Tony Khan, WWE, somebody's listening. He needs to be on a big show, big platform somewhere. Yeah. One more time, one big room, whatever it is. Let's just say Tony Khan, you pick him up. You got Edge right now. You got Christian. David is available. I don't think he's under contract with anybody. So uh, that, I think that was awesome that they picked up that uh, conversation and, and they uh, put that story in print. So uh, hey, shout hey, out to sportskeeda.com. Yeah, 100%. Hey, listen, you know, uh, you know, us putting out, you know, my thoughts about David. You know, mm -hmm. number one, David's a, a, a true ooze to this family. You know, when I let, when, I, when you have my own mother let a guy like the vampire worry through our home. You know, make sure he's, you know, got everything he needs and just the hospitality, right? Uh, so we named him, you know, she named him Kavika. Mm -hmm. Kavika means David, right? And so, um, you know, David is is a very, very close friend to the family. David knows this in this industry. Is there anybody out there that don't know about uh, Gang Grill or David Heath? Then uh, you need to do your research. And anytime. You kids that are in the same locker room as the Vampire Warrior, you need to open your ears up, show respect, listen to what he's got to say. Because at his age, he's still out there doing it. Bad knees, bad hips, and all. But listen here, you can't stop the passion that's in the Vampire Warrior. And for him to be out there doing what he's doing, you know, I'm always texting him on the side, hey, man, you need to slow down, right? Yeah, but, you know, I, I get it. He loves it. When you love something, you just gonna go and ride or die, like David always says. Yes, sir. We gonna ride or die, fang in a bang. That's right. Late night, early flights. <laughs> you dig? I, I, hey, I understand it all, man. We've been around the block together a few times, and I, he's a oos. That's a real one. When I say real one, that's the day one. Yes, sir. One of my favorite pictures of all time that I actually took is of both of you guys together in a pool. It, yeah, it was, Australia. Uh, no, 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 no. It was at Mean Dean's Barbecue. Oh, remember, okay. Remember that that day? Yeah. That day was infamous. But uh, th there's a great picture that I mean took. Mean Dean. Mean Dean. Yes. There's, there's a great oh, picture that Max I took Pro OG. of you and Kavika together in the pool. You guys were happy yeah. just chilling at the edge of the pool, and I took it. It's one of my favorite pictures of, yeah. of you guys together because I know how, how far back both y'all you know, go. But I, I just I just thought that that was awesome. Uh, so much awesome stuff going on with the Funko Pops, the the, the music, Yo. WrestleMania. This is a huge week, and you're going to be in Philadelphia. Fans, are you listening? So, Philadelphia, I'm going to be there on Friday. You'll see it on my post. I'll be there Saturday, and I'll be there Sunday. And so I want you guys to stop by. I'll be out there on the table for Busting for Autism. I've been a, a proud ambassador for Busting for Autism to be able to bring autism awareness to the world. Autism awareness to people that comes up to my table. It's important uh, that they understand about, you know, autism. So, you know, a uh, percentage of my earnings will be going straight to the nonprofit organization. So please feel free. I'll have new T-shirts 
Samoan Dynasty merchandise. I have Rikishi t-shirts. I'm going to have Metallic. Metallic 11 by 14 uh, promo shots. Wow. Never been sold before. Okay. So every time I come to WrestleCon, WrestleMania, mm -hmm. I've always liked to bring the fans something new, something with quality. Because when you have a... a when you come from a, a, a legacy such as ours, everything has to look presentable, has to be presentable with the utmost respect professionalism. Otherwise, Kishi don't touch it. Yes, sir. And I've always said, you either come correct or don't come at all. I know that for a fact. Man. What's up? So you got a lot going on. Uh, I know you're a man on the move. We're going to make this short and sweet. Big Kish, drinks up. All right. Philadelphia, this is the biggest week of your son's uh, career, your family's uh, career, legacy history, man. I'm going to be there to yeah. support you. The fans are going to be there to support you. You what? I want to be, I, I like to say this in closing. Yes, sir. I like to say, you manuia. Manuia. Joe, Dewey, Jonathan, Joshua, and Sefa. You manuia o coca longa ngay vayaso o ngay weekend. And I pray that you guys go out there and be safe. Perform like you only knew, you know how to do. And understand that your family on the sidelines, watching from near and far, and even the culture, we are all rooting for you guys. And thank you for putting us up on the map continually. All right, so cheers. Manguia, Manguia. remember this, it's free to be kind. And always, always smarten up. And we out. It's time to smarten up. It's time to say things that people are scared to say. It's time to bring you on into my home so you know what time it is. In the locker room, in the hip-hop world, in the wrestling world. You might even come into my kitchen.